Well, happy World Bee Day. And it's amazing that a global celebration day would be dedicated to just this little insect. But really, when you look at it, as conservationists, we focus too much on the big charismatic species. We love to focus on elephants or lions or rhinos or giraffes or chimpanzees or gorillas or, you know, any of the myriad of different charismatic species. And we very often overlook the small yet equally important things. An ecosystem can't survive without good pollinators. And a bee in almost every ecosystem around the world is one of the greatest pollinators. Never mind the fact that it produces honey, which is one of the sweetest and most healthy things known to man. And never mind that that honey absolutely never goes off. I mean, they've taken honey out of the, the Pharaoh's tombs in the, in the pyramids, 3,000 year old jugs of honey that were perfectly fine. I mean, that's pretty amazing as a, as a food substance. And yet, really, when you look at it, we don't really celebrate bees enough. We take them for granted like so many things in this world. We're so busy, tied up with our smartphones and our emails and our entertainment that comes through our televisions that we don't take the time to really look and enjoy and appreciate our healthy ecosystems and even our backyards. Our backyards couldn't have any flowers in them without bees. We certainly, as a race, couldn't be fed without bees. And an ecosystem can't be healthy without bees. So as much effort as you might put into your lions and your rhinos and giraffes and all of these other charismatic species, if you don't have bees in the ecosystem that they exist in, that ecosystem is eventually going to collapse. So once again, happy Bee Day. Let's not underestimate the value of the little insects in our lives. And next time you see a bee, whether it's flying into a flower, whether it's flying past your window, just think to yourself, without bees, they can't be humans.